know what they say when life hands you lemons. Do a barrel roll! And when you want to know about your favorite games, listen to Game On with Jeff Johnson. The new Game On podcast continues. Here's Jeff. It's the new Game On podcast. I'm Jeff Johnson. And you can listen to us on YouTube. You can find us on Spreaker. And the other thing I've been doing is actually sort of chipping away at these podcast episodes by bringing you a feature at a time. All throughout the week, I upload these, and you can check them out again on our YouTube channel, Game on GNT. And don't forget, we've also got our blog, JJ Plays Everything. That's available for you to check out our articles and sometimes extra posts as well. So let's get into it. Let's talk about... This game that's been on my shelf for a while. This game that's been a part of my pile of shame for a while. And I call it the pile of shame because, let's face it, my collection is stupid. Not only is it stupid, there's a lot of games in my collection that I haven't even played. So I own the game, and I've never played it. And there's hundreds of games like this, either through bundle deals or gifts or, you know, I see a random sale and I'm like, I, I'll buy that right now. Why not? And, you know, I'll buy it for like two bucks or five bucks or something like that. And after a while, these games pile up. But this game's finally coming out of the pile of shame. I'm glad it is. Tomb Raider Definitive Edition. So years back, I got the Tomb Raider game for back then it was released for the Xbox 360 and the PS3 it's since re-released for the Xbox 1 PS4 you know the modern consoles and i got the game for my birthday and started playing it a little bit but never really got too far into it and i figured to myself well it's tomb raider it's not that long of a game so years later now years later I've come back and I'm playing Tomb Raider Definitive Edition. I like I had some time free the one night and thought, you know what, I'm gonna pop this in. Let's see Laura Croft in this new incarnation. I say new, but it's not new to me is the best way to put it. She's been this Laura Croft for quite a few years now. And I started playing it and I really like it. Basically, I've heard a lot of comparisons about uh, Laura Croft and the new Tomb Raider games being a girl Nathan Drake. And I I can see that. Uh, Just looking at how the Uncharted games are, this game plays a lot like that. That being said, I really like how this game plays. I played the old Tomb Raider games. uh, The first Tomb Raider, uh, Raider I never really got into. But I played Tomb Raider 2, and I own the other Tomb Raider games. And, like, back then, it was a, it, it was the days of the first PlayStation. Movement was clumsy, guns were clumsy, everything was clumsy, really. But this game handles really well. It's got this cinematic flair, it looks really, really good, and it's just got this sort of more mature vibe than the older games, and I really like that. Especially, I mean, considering this game is sort of a telling of how Laura Croft became her sort of Tomb Raider ways, you know, the serious adventurer, like serious uh, relic hunter, Tomb Raider, Laura Croft self, was born because of the actions that happen in this game. And it's a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun to play. There's been some spots in here where I've had a couple of jumps because, like, you're trying to get through an area and all of a sudden something breaks and you got to scramble to get through it. Or you're calling a plane to come rescue you and something causes it to crash and you got to avoid this wreckage barreling down the mountain at you. It's very high intensity. And I figured with something like that, it would be a shorter game. It's not. I've spent probably three, four different nights, you know, full nights playing. And I can tell you I'm nowhere near the ending of this. <laughs> it's I don't know if that says something about how slow I play or if it says something about just how long this game is, but there's a lot to play here, and I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful to get the chance to give it a go. So I'm sure I'll be playing a little bit more of this down the road. Uh, like I said, everything about this game is a heck of a lot of fun. I can't imagine you guys have not had a chance to play this Tomb Raider yet. But it's worth your time if you haven't. So see if you can find it on a good sale and go for it. It's it's definitely worth your time. Are you looking to jumpstart your game? My spoon is too big. Have you had enough of games being remade over and over again? My spoon 
spoon is too big. Are you looking for an insider's view of the gaming industry? My spoon is too big. Don't you care about anything but spoons? I am a banana. Yeah. Just listen to Game On with Jeff Johnson.